Hello guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lei and I am here to share my happy moments with you. Okay, today's happy moment is really really happy for me because after this video, I can dump a lot of empty bottles for more space. <sighs> Who doesn't want more space? Right, right. Okay, so as you know, today's video is going to be my skincare and makeup and you know, the daily routines, empty bottles. And actually, I have quite a few things to talk about. So I'm not gonna chit chat too much. Um, how about let's just right away dive into it, shall we? Okay, last thing before I really start the empties. I'm just gonna quickly introduce my skin type and what kind of results and effects I expect to take from skincare. And my skin type is dry. Normally, I like to use dewy and moisture kind of results. I don't like too matte or too dry or anything with rich bubbles. So, let's just... Okay, let's just start from cleansing things because look, I love makeup, but I love taking makeup off my face even more. I'm obsessed of cleansing. So, cleansing, well, yeah, why don't we start from the wipes? Okay, the wipes I use for me is basically, you know, when I'm trying on lipsticks, I like to wipe it off. I don't really use wipes to take off my makeup because I don't like the feeling of stretching my skin too much. So that's the use of them. And uh, I have quite a few here. These are only the different type I kept them. Some of them already used the zebra bags. Some of them I would never want to use it again. So let's start from the pennies. If you have pennies or uh, Primark, you would know. I have used like almost all of them. These are very cheap as well and I like to use this wipe off the lipstick on my hand but then again I don't really like perfumes in it because I feel like it irritate my skin and this one, the hydrating one is it's good. It doesn't have a smell but it's not as Strong. The cleansing is not as strong as the pink one or the blue one. The blue one is my favorite one, but it still has scents in it. And this simple uh, sensitive skin expert kind to skin cleansing facial wipes. I think Kathleen Light has mentioned this one in her one of her videos, so that's why I bought it. I was kind of like, oh, excited because she and I have the same skin type. I was thinking, oh, I like it. But for some reason, I already used up this for a long while, but I don't remember I really like it. Um, I think it's not as mild as it says. And uh, this L'Oreal Revita Lift, I don't even know why I bought this lifting thing because when you're wiping, why are you expecting this to lift your face? Well, it stops on your skin so little time. Um, I really don't like this. I feel tight and uh, my skin doesn't feel comfortable and it's like really tight. And I still actually, I think I still have one wipe in it, but I'm not gonna use it. So if you have dry skin, just be careful. And this one has a very strong sensation. And the last one is their Johnson's Face Care. It says makeup be gone, preparing wipes. Um, this one's wipe is thicker. The fabric is thicker for sure. But I don't think they really did their job, which is making you know, remove my makeup. I did it only once and it irritates my skin, especially go to the eyes area. So wipes, I think I'll go back to PS. I think they're pretty decent. Here comes the second layer of cleansing. I used up so many bottles of this Garnier Skin Active Micella Cleansing Water and the green one. This one is combination and sensitive skin. No perfume and no irritation, which it does it job so perfectly. Before I was using this, I was using Biodema one, and but that one's kind of expensive because as the portion I'm using. So I went to this and I loved it. So yeah. And the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. This is really good as well. And this was my friend gave me as a Christmas gift. It's a, it's a whole set. And I really, really like it. But like, you know, compared with this one, I would still go for this one more because the price-wise and how... Yeah, basically how the price-wise. 
And I have this Perfect Diary Beauty, which I got from China. They put this in the box. I took this with me for a short trip and uh, has an extra lid. And in fact, this Perfect Diary Beauty didn't disappoint me so much. Like, it, it really, they're really, really good. I have a video about what I bought in China, so maybe you can check out. I have more makeup, but their remover is really good. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this little bottle because it's really good and, you know, you don't spill your makeup remover everywhere and two makeup remover balm I have to mention one is the clinic one one is the RMS beauty the coconut raw coconut oil these two are just really like these two I love these two so much I want to go back to buy them and the clinic one is just a pure plain balm it doesn't have a perfume or when it's on your face it right away are melting your makeup it's very very comfortable it doesn't stretch your skin so much and when you're cleaning off it will right away melt in the water no matter cold or hot water or you know warm water um, so this is really really good I would definitely go back actually this one was on the set my friend gave me thank you Valeria and the RMS Beauty raw coconut cream I think this one compare with the clinic one I prefer this one because as like this one's more natural right I think how you keep it is really the key you know when it's warmer all the cream will just change into oil like liquid oil and when you're using it, it's kind of like oh you're touching everything whatever on your hands will just get in the cream um, but when it's cold it will becoming a cream so you actually need it scratch it off uh, and you know melting on your skin and when you finish this you have to use wipe to wipe it off it's natural enough but it's not as convenient as the clinic one I'm surprised that I like this but I do it's the soap and glory peaches and clean deep cleansing milk look it's kind of disgusting but you can tell I really emptied it I really like it because it gives me that kind of not so tacky or over dry when I used up and it has a peach scent in it if you don't like scented cleanser you might not like it but if you do like peach you will love this one like I'm not sure how much makeup it can take off because I was never using that only this to remove my makeup but as the last step I would definitely go back I think it was only like 10 euro or something okay here still cleaning cleaning is not done yet okay but it's come to the hair right when I pop into the shower I'm gonna wash my hair, right? I'm gonna start by Lush, all right? I used both these up. One is American cream, one is veganese. They both are hair conditioner. This American cream is like, it smells really, really good, but it does has a, you know, kind of, kind of creamy, kind of very, very sweet um, smell. And I think it's good for winter. Uh, summer probably will be too cheesy. And the veganese is very, very light. Um, oh, I don't know, like my hair is kind of like very thin. It was stuck on my scalp. But if you use too light conditioner, it doesn't moisture my hair at the end enough. But if you use too creamy, it will get oily very soon. So it's very, very hard. These two, I would say, they're okay. They're, they, they can do their job, but mm, I'm not really, you know, impressed with them. Then it's the Aussie Conditioner Miracle Shine. I absolutely love this. I think you can buy this everywhere, but I really love this. <sighs> the smell, the how moisture it gets me, you know, it just make my dead end. By the way, do you like my new haircut? Yeah, so, uh, Anyway, long story short, I get tired of my long hair because the dead end, it was just like too, you know, I feel like they're really, really dead. I, they cannot be alive again. Um, but when they're alive, I really like to use this Miracle Shine, the Miracle Shine one, okay? Whew, I'm nearly done. Here comes the body cream. The first one I'm gonna say is the Body Shops, the grapefruit, you know, the big jar I already used up. and. This is very just fresh and I know grapefruit could supposed to be like fresh but for the cream it's not moisture enough but the for the but, but, but like the smell you know another one it's very drugstore one is the Dove Derma Spa goodness um, this for dry body lotion it's for dry skin and I fall in love 
with the smell of this. This smell just makes me feel like I'm a goddess, you know? It makes the body cream, this step, enjoyable. All right, body lotion is put on. Let's take care of our face now. Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. I absolutely love this. Every time when I finish the washing up, I, my skin is kind of like a tie. I need next skincare immediately. So I will spray this. The ingredients are quite natural. My skin can irritate very easily and will have those small like pimples if something was blocked in there, right? So um, I was kind of worried because rose water can sometimes irritate your skin. But this one really, really just calmed down my skin and just <sighs> give me that kind of like <sighs> that feeling, you know? And for some reason, this tastes sweet. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. Anyway, I really, really do like this one. I think it's good for summertime as well. If you want to try, go for it. There's so many places you can buy this. And the other face spray is the La Rouge Posée. The Therma Spring Water. I think this one's just essential. I just put it in my bag. If you're really like sensitive, you're not expecting any function in your spray, go for those ones. The main dish for skincare is the Ordinary. I couldn't live without them now. They're nothing luxurious but affordable and they're really, really useful. I've never used this kind of ingredients skincare before. I start with the Hyaluronic Acid with HA, a natural moisturizing factor plus HA, and the 100% Plan Divine Schooling. These are the the 100 milliliter one, so I cut them open, I use every single drop, and I'm still using it. And even my mom would say, oh, your skin getting smoother. I was like, oh. <laughs> this is another cream. I use this as a primer and as the day cream. For example, I went to gym and then I finish, uh, come home, and uh, I don't want to put on too much, you know, too many steps. Um, I will use this Le Creme Concentré. I have two more tubes in there. This is a darker blue one. It has a lighter blue one. It's for oily skin. So now this for me in summertime, I think it's a little bit of oil. And I would uh, replace this with the Too Faced Hanover Primer. But if you are like even drier than my skin, you probably wouldn't find this oily. But anyway, this is just essential in my jewel all the time. And if you're someone really like to do face mask, I think all the Asian people like to do face mask. <laughs> anyway, so I'm one of them. I really like to do this kind of sheet face mask. They're convenient, they're easy. Just be careful, don't wear them too long. 15 minutes, 20 minutes is the maximum time. So I like to use is this Dr. Jet, the Soothing Hydrate Solution and the Vita Hydrate Solution. These two are what I have in this drawer. I do not want to, you know, don't have them. And the other mask is the Flash Mud Brighten Treatment Mask this orange one. I think a lot of people has mentioned the black one and the white one and the blue one. I haven't heard this people like this orange one so much. Um, this is kind of like exfoliate your skin but at the same time brighten up. My skin is very thin. I wouldn't rub it so much um, but the, for the price wise I probably wouldn't go back because it's too expensive. But the smell though. <gasps> <sighs> And the last, I actually used up some makeup products. The first one is the Clarence Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. I used this honey one and you see, actually I couldn't get anything out of it. I like to use it before I go to bed. It's kind of sticky, but then again, you want it, that kind of comfort and the moisture at night. I think it's more psychologically comforting me. I wasn't that impressed. For the price, I think it's good, but it's... Um, it can be cheaper. And another one, oh my god, this is Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray. I really, really do like it. If you like dewy skin, you will love this one. And this will keep your makeup there all day and give you a dewy skin, but not oily. And uh, three eyebrows. Actually, I used up so many this precise kind of like slim, um, eyebrow pencils. These two are from Catrice Cosmetics and I use the same color. I don't really think I rubbed off the color shade, but I used up these two and I also used up the NYX 
very slim, that precise um, eyebrow pencil, and one of the ColourPop precise brow pencil. Um, they're all good. They're all good. Like, but I just think maybe my eyebrow is just too light, so I need to use a lot of them. I think these ones are better than ColourPop one. The ColourPop one is kind of like too creamy, um, so it can. It can get smudgy on your eyebrow, but these ones are harder, so it can give you a very individual hair effect. And the last makeup empty is the NYX HD Studio Concealer. This one was, you see, it's like gone. Couldn't get anything out of it, and it's the shade Fair. This was my go-to concealer all the time. Now my new favorite is Jeffree Star, but you know, this one was definitely my old favorite. Um, it stays there forever and it doesn't crease and just give you really a HD studio kind of effect. Okay guys, that's today's video. I'm really glad I did this with you. I can even remember the time I bought them. Good feeling they give to me. And I'm so sorry I haven't recorded a video so long. There's something happening in my life now. It's a really big deal. Um, but um, I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not gonna worry you, but I will get over it. And for one of my subscriber, Anna from Spain, hi! Very nice to see your comments in there and I'm gonna answer your question. My favorite Chinese makeup brand, I think there are Mao Ge Ping and Judo and uh, Perfect Dairy. Anka Ping is a really experienced brand and uh, they were great since I was a child. And Judo and Perfect Dairies are what I found recently. They're really, really good. And uh, I hope you have a great time in China. So that's it. That's today's video. Don't feel shy to leave me comments and don't feel shy to ask me questions. I'm more than happy to be the person that you can share your happy moment with. Hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, if you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you like me, you're always welcome to subscribe me. And uh, I will see you next time.